let us now move on. Step number two is the model, or the model equation as it is often said. Model is the mathematical expression which connects the output quantity or the measurand or the quantity that we intend to measure with different input quantities whereby the input quantities are the quantities that are measured directly. And in our case, input quantities are different kinds of absorbance values. They are volumetric uh, data and also uh, the slope and the intercept of the calibration graph. And if we now compile this model into a mathematical expression, then it will be looking like this. A sample here is the absorbance of the sample solution. And B0 and B1 are the intercept and the slope of the calibration graph, respectively. And actually, if we take just this part of the model equation, then this part will exactly give us the content of ammonium nitrogen in the solution that was made from the sample. So the sample is diluted before measurement. And if we now want to extend this to the whole sample, not just the diluted sample, we have to multiply this by the dilution factor. And it is fair to say that just for calculating the result, this part of the model is in fact sufficient because the value that is given by this part of the model really will be our resulting value. However, we need to include one more term into this model. And in fact, this delta CDC is an additional term which carries value zero, as we will see afterwards, but which has uncertainty. And via this term, we take into account some uncertainty sources, most importantly the uncertainty due to possible decomposition or contamination of the sound.